Hey everyone, welcome back. Guess what? I have great news for you. You can do this. What are we talking about? Well, organization, decluttering, we're gonna do some stuff together. You wanna see what I'm doing? So can you see me? Can you see me over this mountain? Look at this. What, what am I doing here? What is going on? What am I doing with all this stuff in front of me? So here's what's going on in our house. We have been trying to slowly declutter and it has been overwhelming. In the last 10 months since my dad has passed away, life has not slowed down whatsoever. As a matter of fact, my dad's brother just passed away. He was the last of the matriarchs of the family. We're heading out to a funeral. And you know, just that on top of life and work, and we have just been through so much in the past year, trying to get the house organized and declutter has just been like this nemesis for me. But I've decided, as they say, we're gonna eat an elephant. And next week, if you can believe it, next week starts the 20th week before Christmas. Now, why am I saying that? because I figured in my mind that gives me 20 weeks to declutter and reorganize my home and claim back my home. My, I will now be in charge of my home and my home will no longer be in charge of me. Do you feel like your home has taken over you? Do you ever feel like, you know, it's, it's so overwhelming that sometimes you feel like who's in charge? I'm now in charge again. I am taking back my home and in 20 weeks, I'm going to declutter 20 areas of my home. How do you do that? It's just like eating an elephant. You eat it at one bite at a time. And we've been slowly trying to keep a bucket, like you saw this big bucket, and I have a few more things in it, but keep this bucket near around in our area. And as I've gone through things, now we're not talking like, you know, 500 things, but as you go through a room and you go, I have no place. This jug I love, it's like a vintage looking jug, it's pottery. It even has um, some glass beads in it that I forgot to take out. So we're keeping those, but this jug, I love, I love this jug. I love the little imperfections on it. I love everything about it. Do you know though, for the past, well, we've had this maybe 10 years, it has gone from room to room to room and now it's going from place to place to place because we don't know where to put it. I have no use for it. It fits with my decor but I honestly have no place for it. So you know what? It's going in the bucket. I had a red jar. I bought this at the Dollar Tree years ago and I used it for Valentine's Day and I used it during the fall and Christmas, but I don't use it anymore. It's going in the bucket. I have a flameless candle and it's battery operated and I have some other ones and it's one of those that just doesn't fit with what I'm doing right now. I have other ones that I prefer, it's going in the bucket. I have, believe it or not, this nice little tin from the Dollar Tree. I love it. I have no use for it right now. And I have this little jar here, Valentine's Day. I have no use for it right now. They're going in the bucket. I have a little, little carrier thing, I don't know. Don't need that. We've got some red, white, and blue items. Don't need these. We have a phone cleaner thing that you run over. It's supposed to, what do you call those U, UV lights or yeah. something like that? Someone gave it to us. We don't need it. We don't use it. Do we need it? I, I don't know. I don't think you need half of what you have. Do we want it? No, because we never use it. So got a great basket. I love this basket. Some of you are gonna say, oh, I wish I lived near you. It's got nice handles, right? Really nice basket. Love it, absolutely love it. No use for it. I have a muffin tin, pretty much, I don't wanna say it's brand new. It's by Baker's Secret, so it's a good tin. But one thing I found is where I'm now storing my things. I don't have room, it's too big. So I had one that was a six muffin, and I saw it on somebody else's YouTube and they said they bought a second six muffin, which is what I did. Picked one up for a dollar at a thrift store and they fit on top of each other. And I can store, let's see if I can do it this way. I can store this size versus this size in my storage area. And for us, we only usually need six muffins. 
but if I needed more than that or six cupcakes that size I don't need a big tray I can just use the two six muffin tray things and we'll be good to go I have all of these really nice denim different size ornaments I love them I have some already in a jar I got them on clearance I think a big box for 25 cents and I had hopes and dreams of making some ornaments with a uh, young people's group that I'm involved in and it never happened five years ago they're going in the bucket I have a strainer there we go might make a lovely hat what do you think and that I thought would be great because it would fit over the pot I have learned that I don't like the mesh the pasta to me gets caught in it very hard to clean even if you soak it so we went with a different style don't need it going in the bucket so all this is going in the bucket and I am taking it to Goodwill we're going to do a quick run to Goodwill and you guys can come along with us and see what our Goodwill you know our donation area looks like we're donating it's only a few things but you know what it's a few less things that I have in the house now I'm not a minimalist um I don't know what I am I'm just a linist how's that I've come up with my own new word I decorate the way I like I live in the home that makes me happy and brings me joy. We are kind of regrouping our home and downsizing our home in some ways. Why are we downsizing? Well, number one, we're getting older and we don't need as many things, but our kids are grown. We don't need as many things. And a lot of things in life have changed. We don't entertain the same way. We're not involved in certain um hobbies or organizations that we used to be but we're involved in newer things which is great change is good so we're looking at what we have and do we really use that or maybe we liked it for a season a lot of the things we purchase are from thrift stores or they're gifted to us so if we got a season out of it i'm happy with that you know what i can bless somebody else how many of you have gone to goodwill or a thrift store and said i can't believe i found the perfect thing that i've been looking for Somebody had to have donated that item for you to find it. So I'm donating these treasures for someone else to find and use in their own home. And in turn, I'm going in a couple of weeks with a group of girls and I'm taking two new people, new, newer friends to me, and one of you are a viewer. We're going out to Pennsylvania and we're going thrift shopping. So if everybody's in agreement, we'll take you all with us. And we're gonna have a great time and I'm looking for some curtains I need a tablecloth I always make a list of what I need and I will be starting my Christmas shopping because we shop for our little family and we thrift we we've always tried to buy one gift we've tried to hand make one gift and we've tried to thrift the rest and that's kind of been a tradition and you know over the years depending on money and and just the way life went it might have changed but that's kind of our basic tradition for Christmas presents so I start now and I start looking at things in the thrift store that'll be really cool and unique items that we can share with the family so what are we doing now to regroup reorganize and take back that home and how am I eating an elephant one bite at a time elephants I would think are pretty rubbery I don't know that I would really like to eat an elephant but that's just an analogy so next week starting the 20th week each week I'm going to have a video dedicated just to decluttering, reorganizing, and taking back my home. And every week we're going to concentrate on one area of the home. One area I know for sure, and it's probably going to be the first thing, is going through books. I am not a huge book person. My husband, who's right there, tends to like to collect books, and he's smiling and giggling behind the camera and I'm always saying do we need all these books but you know what as much as that might be a fetish with him he could say the same thing to me about do we really need all those paintbrushes and do we all we do we need all those rubber stamps we all have something we enjoy so I will encourage him to get rid of some books and then he'll encourage me to get rid of some of the rubber stamps but for right now each week the 20th week until the week of Christmas we are going to declutter 20 areas of our home. Are you in with me? Do you want to join us? I think what I might even do if I get it together and I, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That's it. Not even say I'm going to try. I am going to do it. I will make a PDF 
or a printout that you can get on my website. And I will mention that the first video that I do of the decluttering. And I'm going to list all 20 things that I am going to declutter and which which week I'm doing it on. This way, if you want to join me, wouldn't that be cool? If like next week we all decluttered our books and then we can put a note on the thread and leave a comment and say, well, I got rid of five books or I got rid of two or I got rid of 50 books maybe or whatever the case might be. Wouldn't it be kind of fun if we did this together for the next 20 weeks? So I invite you to come join me. Let's go eat an elephant together. Let's concentrate on one small area of our home. We don't have to do the whole thing at once. It might just be clean out your first aid and your medications. Something that no one else would know is hidden behind you in that closet, but we got to get this done. We're going to do it together. And by Christmas, you can say, whoa, I cleaned 20 different areas of my home. So here we go. We're going to bring these things over to Goodwill. I'll show you a snapshot, snap, ugh, snap shot of that. And you can come join us and see what we're doing to get rid of. And then I think after that, we also have to make a run to drop off some food to bless some other people of an overage that I have. And so we'll show you that as well. All right. Enjoy the rest of the video.